How are you guys? Uh, how is to be back in Holland? To be back in Holland? It's, it's wonderful to be back here. This is, Holland's always been an amazing place for us. Our uncle, Michael, used to always tell us how great all of Europe was, but he'd always special out, single out Holland for being so supportive and for our career as well. All the Dutch fans have been so incredibly supportive throughout our career. So it's always special to come back here. Yeah. Yesterday you were in Nijmegen uh, to make yeah. pictures. How was that? It was fun. Yeah. When we used to come out in the 90s, we never we used to stay in the hotel rooms. We never got to see the cities. So this time around, I try to see every city I go to. And it was a lot of fun. It was cool because there are some busy areas, but also very peaceful areas. So. Um, it was, it was great. What, what do you like the most of, of, of the city? Uh, something special or? <laughs> what I like the most is, uh, there's a lot of cool things, but something that I noticed, there's a lot of fries shops. Fry shops? Yeah, I saw shops of french fries everywhere. And french fries is my favorite food. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> oh, nice. Are you guys with him or? Uh, no, I haven't seen yet. Okay. Not yet. You still are there plans today to, to go to the city or? Yes, eventually, yes. Definitely. You too? Yeah, I don't like hanging out with them unless it's on stage. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. But you know, one more thing. I like all the bridges. The bridges? Yeah, and the water. It's very peaceful and beautiful. Oh. Uh, there's so many different bridges because this morning I ran around. And it's, it was very cool. Uh, what, what is the first thing uh, that pops up in your head when you are back here in, in Holland? What, what kind of things you know uh, of Holland, maybe? <laughs> I think, I mean, <laughs> so it, for us it's the bicycles, I think. The bicycles? Bicycles. Um, but it's just, it's, it's relaxing here. Yeah. Maybe it's two years, uh, maybe a few years ago you were, are on the bicycle. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Did you? Also do that now or? <laughs> no, not, not this yet. time, not, not yet. yet. Okay. Not yet, we will though. Gotta do the show first. Okay. We, will. we were so talking about it on the, um, coming to the airport, just in terms of, there's a familiar, you know, vibe to coming back yeah. and being, being in it Holland. Good. It feels good. And we were talking about that while we were getting our bags and stuff. Um, what about uh, new music? What are you working uh, at now? So Right now we're, we're kind of doing our own things. We're taking time. Um, we're, we're, you know, we've been 3T forever, so I think it's time for us to kind of do little other adventures. But that's why these shows and, and coming around is so important to us because it brings back a lot of great memories and it, it, I think it re-energizes us. So hopefully soon there'll be more music from 3T. Okay, nice. And when can, can we expect that? Uh... I don't, we don't have a date yet. Yeah, we're not, we're not good at giving dates because we never, whenever we say a date, it's always years after. So Daryl, maybe I saw on your social, you're making beats on Ableton, is that right? I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. learning. I, I, I Can try we to expect learn, maybe uh, some solo things or? Uh... Yeah, I always do music, but I, I like to work in um, all the digital audio workstation, the DAWs, and recently I'm, I'm doing Ableton. Okay, and... Uh... But still Studio One, because that's my favorite. <laughs> uh, okay. I have to say that. But are there some, uh, some tracks that yeah. you... Uh... Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm put out music. I'm okay. gonna put out music soon. Okay. Well, he wants to know when. When? Yeah, give him something. Um, possibly. Can we give, maybe, give us a script, I, please? I, uh, maybe later this year. Okay. Say that. Are, are you guys also uh, working with him when he is on Ableton uh, on the computer? Or, uh, I can't afford, they're too, yeah, they charge I'm, me too I'm much. Expensive. <laughs> they I'm expensive. Don't, I try to get them to sing and they're too He wants a brother discount, but he's not getting it. Uh, okay. No, but we, we all do writing. You know, we grew up. We're Jackson, so we grew up doing music. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we, we're doing different types of music. We're, we're expanding our, our craft, um, which is cool. It's been re-energizing. You know, Terrell's doing his, his dance stuff and, and EDM stuff, and I'm doing some, some country things and, and good Country things. things? Well, you won't, well, yeah, I was gonna say, you're not gonna cowboy see me in a hats. cowboy hat and boots. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. But, um, you know, some, some, I've been going to Nashville to write. So <laughs> that would be funny country. But um, I, I actually really love country music. I just oh, yeah. wasn't raised in the country, so I don't know how authentic I would sound as a country artist. But I Maybe love, you can try now. Hey, maybe. <laughs> but I love country. I love country. Okay. That'd be cool. That would be interesting. Are there some special... He's doing, he's doing photography stuff. What, yeah. what do you guys listen to when you play some songs on your phone? What kind of... 
older stuff. Everything. Yeah, I'm more. I listen to more of the classic stuff. That they always joke with me because my music list start stops at like 2000. Like you know, so anything, <laughs> anything that's hot on the radio right now, I, I would not know. It. Yeah, like it literally. There will be a number one song around the world, and he will never have heard it. And I always say to him, how are you in the music industry if you don't know the number one song in the world? It's just music's not what it used to be to me. But, yeah. <laughs> I'd rather listen to the, the classics. Um, I saw an interview uh, maybe a few years ago with Fernando from Front yeah. Funix. Uh, and uh, he asked you, uh, maybe you uh, come up with a collaboration with Farrell, Farrell Williams. Yeah. Uh, is there some uh, really new collaboration coming up or with other artists like that or we haven't we haven't really been thinking about doing um, a project like that yet but um, I'm sure once we do you know Pharrell's a great talent so he would be somebody we'd like to work with as well okay but we haven't really even thought about that right now okay okay it's uh, just uh, now the concert uh, to yeah, yeah. Uh, something else. Uh, you are all the nephews of yeah one of the biggest uh, pop stars uh, in the world, Michael Jackson. What is the most helpful thing uh, to carrying that Jackson name, and what is the hardest part of it? Because I I think you're always hearing, oh, we are the nephews of Michael Jackson. Wow. I think it's well, it's all we know. It's been ever since we were little. We've been hearing that, so we're used to it. Mm -hmm. um, there's great things and bad things about it, you know, but. The good always outweighs the bad, um, but we, we love music, we love performing. We learned from all of our uncles. Our Uncle Michael's incredible, um, and uh, his music is just forever, you know? So hearing his music, you know, we, we still, we were talking about that the other day. I went into a restaurant and mm -hmm. they had it on a Michael Jackson Pandora, mm -hmm. just playing songs over and over, and it, it makes you smile because you, you see other people singing singing along to it, and you see the happiness it brings people. Mm. So yeah. that, that yeah. makes us feel well. What kind of influence he had on your music career or maybe on your life experience? He had a huge impact on us, not, not only as musicians and artists, but also as people. I was telling someone that my, this whole time I've always seen my Uncle Michael as just my Uncle Michael. Mm -hmm. I always thought of him from the uncle perspective, you know, but with everyone thinks of him as the artist. Yeah. And now as time goes and I hear, you know, his songs on the radio more and see pictures and I'm just now seeing, not just now, but I really can feel the impact he made on the world, mm -hmm. you know? So it's, yeah. it's really, it's really interesting to see because when you guys see Michael Jackson, yeah. I, I see my fun my uncle, uncle yeah. who, who I have incredible memories of. Um, your father uh, released, uh, I think in May it was, uh, yeah, new music, yeah. also with your support. Uh, mm -hmm. What were the reactions uh, uh, of, uh, of the music? I love his album. I love his album. We did a lot of songs yeah. over the years on his album, which was we knew of, but there's a lot of songs that we didn't know of he kept from us. And our father was the only Jackson sibling from that generation to never release a single album. So he finally released his debut album and we couldn't be happier for him. Because I think a lot of people don't realize when our uncle, when our uncles and, and fathers in the 80s, they were all doing projects, our father was spending a lot of time grooming 3T. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And he was you know, in the studio as a producer for us. So he never got his moment to be a solo artist. Mm -hmm. So to see him doing it now is is really cool for us. Yeah, yeah. Um, in in the past uh, 20 years, uh, I uh, I saw in other interviews uh, there was a lot of trouble in the family or in the in the music industry. There are a lot of uh, you know, trouble things to release new music. Yeah, well, I think it's it's so different now. The music industry. A lot of things are good. A lot of things are are bad. Um, but it's just, it's different, you know. Um, it's, there's a lot of positive things about it, you know. You can put your music out there and do it yourself and reach a lot of people. Um, but at the same time, it's, it's just not what it was, you know. That, the whole experience of going to record stores and, and seeing and, and um, experiencing other styles of music, it's just so different. 
<laughs> you sound so old. <laughs> well, but but that's what it is. It's the record we up, store. We grew up buying CDs and looking forward to an album getting released on a certain Do they still day. have record stores here? Yeah, they do. Uh, they have they one. They do? Yes. Yeah. We actually Not vinyls. Have, like CDs and... Yes, they do. Music. But we have a flag in one of the stores. Oh, really? I saw that really? yesterday. What kind of uh, singles you're, you're about to buy if you, if you are in that record shop? What would you buy? I would buy, uh, I would buy a vinyl and probably... Do you even have a record player? I do. Oh. Sounds great. But I would... Sorry for the interruption. <laughs> He's still learning. I'm not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I would, I would probably buy... A Jimi Hendrix vinyl. Jimi Hendrix? Yeah, I'm a big Jimi Hendrix fan. Okay. But there's a lot of artists, but, but I think I don't have a vinyl on Jimi Hendrix, so I would buy that. Mm. You are also working uh, uh, on a new project, Family Rules. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that? You know, when you go online, you see a lot of pictures of nice cars, nice women, and a lot of <laughs> big houses. And I just, I, I never could find something. You see, it's, and there's a lot of people that have great quotes for self-improvement and inspiration. But I didn't really see anything that was teaching family values and a, a site that would really promote how to become a better family member. So my wife and I just wanted to start putting out pro, you know, positivity when it comes to family. And, and that's what we did. We just launched it two months ago on our 10 year wedding anniversary. And it's been really cool. I've been getting a lot of great feedback, so it's awesome. Nice, nice. Dash, you, you're tweeting uh, something of what happened in Barcelona, uh, that your heart was with Barcelona yes. that day. Uh, maybe a question for all you guys. Uh, are you ever thinking maybe uh, some terrorist attack could happen to your performance when you were performing mm -hmm. or uh, that kind of things can happen it, or yeah. never? You, you don't want to think that because then you get ter you get like scared and then and then they win in that way and I think for us music's always about bringing people together mm -hmm. and so when we do our performance or when we do performances it's always about spreading love and light to everyone so I try not to think of that at all like that doesn't even cross my mind it's just about connecting with the people and the fans yeah because uh, you're tweeting also uh, you're really caring about the fans that they are safe yeah. to come to yes yeah it's 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 super important to us we grew up loving people and in that way and in terms of connecting with fans and we would watch our dad and our uncles and that's how they were they cared about their fans and they cared about the community and so us naturally growing up we watched that and we're the same way are there uh, some maybe crazy things that ha happened when uh, you were at the media greed or something or uh, uh, Not with meet and greets, but a lot of the crazy stuff happened back back in the 90s. We would have some fans that would sneak into the room and be like and scare us because they'd be already in the closet. Like when we and we were just checking into our rooms and they were already there. Um, yeah, but, still, even when we check into a room, at least I do. I'm I make sure, sure there's no one in there. <laughs> I go in the closets yeah. and the back. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if you're going to a club together, yeah. are there, is there not always a fan that you recognize you or, yeah, when can, can you go to the club life. without trouble going, yeah, going in trouble or I mean, of getting fans on your? We don't back? go to the we don't go to the clubs too much, um, but last time we did here in Holland, um, yeah. there, a lot of people had recognized yeah? us. Yeah. So, oh. but we don't go out no? as much. Okay. No. What, what do you, uh, in your free time, what, what would you do? Uh, n not going to the club, but maybe on a Saturday night, if you are free, what, what kind of things you do? Family. Uh, you know, yeah, movies. movies. We, we like going to movies, um, family stuff. Uh, we're pretty boring, I think. <laughs> that, that sounds very boring. That's Every once in a while, we try and go out to see what's going on in the place that we're at. Like, we will go to a club, but it's not often. Um, maybe on tonight. Of a yeah, are you going uh, to perform? Mm -hmm. And y you're really exciting about it. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, no, no. <laughs> we love. Well, we love performing. You know, we've been doing it since we were very little, and and um, it's what we love to do. Music, and and then being in front of the, the fans and the crowd, it's just a great feeling. And you can't describe it really. And um, especially here in Holland, it's just we love it. Okay. It, it's. 
always exciting, always exciting because you, you get to share. It's, it takes a lot to make music. And this is the best part is when you share it with, with fans and, and people and they sing it back and they react from what you've created. So it's, it's always wonderful to perform. Before the performance though, sometimes, you know, your mind is th making sure things are done right. So when we were younger, we were such perfectionists that we didn't get to enjoy it as much as we probably should have because we were so, we wanted everything to be perfectly right. But now, you know, it's, it's, more, about, it's more about just enjoying it and, and having a good time. We've learned over the years that it's never perfect. Okay. <laughs> as perfect, as many times as you want it to be perfect, something always goes wrong and you have to make adjustments, so it's part of it. Yeah, thank you for your time. Thank uh, you. It? it was a great interview. Yeah? Yeah. yeah.